Islam Makachev and Charles Oliveira are set to face off in a highly anticipated fight for the currently vacant UFC lightweight championship. The card's scheduled for October, and since that's still a while away, a lot can happen in this time period, and Alexander Volkanovsky, the current featherweight champion, has offered to fill in for the bout in case something prevents one of the fighters from competing. Keep watching as we give you all the details. First off, Volkanovsky eyeing a second title. We can all agree that Volkanovsky is almost definitely the pound-for-pound -pound best fighter in the MMA at this moment, right? The 33-year-old Aussie has now successfully defended his championship four times, and with every performance, he just seems to get stronger and stronger. With a 12-0 record to his name, it's pretty obvious that no one can even come close to him right now. And he's been so dominant that he's now looking for an even bigger challenge. He's reportedly said that he's very much considering moving up to 155 pounds in order to become a two-weight world champion. This kind of ambition is exactly why he's never gotten complacent so far. When you're constantly trying to improve and challenge, challenge yourself, that's when you discover what you're truly capable of, and that's exactly what Volkanovski is doing right now. And despite his recent hand injury, it looks like this incredible move may happen sooner than we previously imagined, so he's planning to go on standby for a UFC 280 lightweight title fight. In a recent interview with the Daily Telegraph, the Aussie reminded everyone that he's always been the kind of guy to never let opportunities get away from him. Yeah, Alex, we can see that. He expressed that if he's fit enough, he wants to stand by and be ready for UFC 280 in case one of Makachev Chef or Oliveira gets injured, adding that he's got a feeling one of them will, so if that happens, he'll be there to pounce on the opportunity. He claimed that if it's doable, he might actually make that trip to Abu Dhabi, but will he be fit enough? Well, Volkanovski revealed that he's working on getting back to his best really, really quickly. He's already gotten back to training and is even kickboxing. Yeah, he can't punch using his left hand just yet, but he's gotten back to strength training. He believes that in six weeks, he'll be able to grapple again, and in 12, he'll be full contact. He hopes that not only will it be fully healed by then, it might even be stronger because of the screws. Yikes. And even stronger, Alexander Volkanovsky? Good luck to anyone who's facing him next. You might be thinking, won't he be out of his element if he starts fighting in a new division? Well, not exactly. He's been on a roll recently, and if there's anyone who can rise up to the challenge, it's him. Plus, he wouldn't be doing this if he wasn't sure he could. I mean, would he ever want to taint his perfect record? He's also repeatedly said that he wants to fight the winner of the Makachev Oliveira fight, so if he doesn't make this move in October, he's almost definitely going to make it early next year. And we're gonna be honest with you, we're terribly excited. The great is really lighting up the UFC right now. Let's wait and see who comes in his way next. Also, he won his third fight with a broken hand. In the same interview, the fighter also revealed that his most recent injury is the same one he suffered to his right hand in the first Max Holloway fight. And this marks the third time the Aussie has fought and subsequently won with a broken hand. Jeez, this man's resolve and willpower is truly something. He revealed that even after watching his footage back, he's still unable to clearly tell what punch caused his hand to break. He joked and said that his poker face is so good that he himself can't interpret it. He did say, though, that there are a few little things that he can notice, like moving a little differently to try and look like he's not running away. He was trying to hide his injury and didn't want his opponent to know that he was seriously hurt. Finally, he again joked that he should really play more poker because it's hard to find. Yeah, folks, his show of dominance against Holloway happened while he was literally struggling with a serious injury to one of his hands. Seriously, who's doing it like him? Oh, and he also wants to fight in his home country in February. And honestly, no one deserves it more. He hasn't fought down under for quite some time now, and it'd be really interesting to see him either defending his title or challenging for a new one in front of thousands of adoring fans cheering him on. And that's all about how Alexander Volkanovsky wants to be the backup for the Charles Oliveira vs. Islam Makachev fight. Now, it's time to move on to some more UFC-related news. Other related news. First, Amanda Nunez regains the bantamweight championship. Amanda Nunez lost her championship to Juliana Pena last December at Las Vegas in what was considered to be one of the biggest upsets in UF history. And following this, many people, including boss man Dana White, started wondering if the Brazilian fighter had gotten complacent because of her success. She came into the rematch against Pena in the main event of UFC 277 with a lot to prove, and let's just say she did not disappoint. The lioness dominated the fight, and in the second round, she literally dropped her opponent three times, twice on right hooks and once with a left to the forehead. And then, in the third round, Nunez once again again took down Pena and kept her on the mat, repeatedly punching her in the head and leaving blood splattered on the mat. She continued her dominance in the final two rounds and ended up winning via a unanimous decision. She's now a double champion once again, holding both the featherweight and bantamweight championships. Safe to say, she's proven her doubters wrong and told the world that she's still a force to be reckoned with. Next up, Kamzat Chimaev suggests Israel Adesanya may not be as hungry as he used to be. Both fans and pundits have been kind of disappointed
disappointed in Israel Adesanya recently. While he's still winning, he's just not finishing fights and putting on spectacular performances like he used to. His most recent middleweight title defense against Jared Cannonier failed to live up to expectations, and it was criticized for being too boring. Some fans even joked that his walkout was more entertaining than the fight itself. His last three fights have gone to a decision, and despite winning them convincingly, fans feel like something is missing. With every fight, he seems to become more defensive and less exciting. And Kamzat Chimaev agrees with this sentiment. He said that the last style bender is doing his job and making his money, which is why he just feels like he doesn't need to do anything crazy to win. He then said that Adesanya used to fight much better before and suggested that maybe the 33-year-old fighter is just not that hungry anymore. He's super rich now, drives crazy cars, and has a lot of money. And according to Chimaev, this has resulted in him changing and losing his motivation. Let's wait and see if Izzy responds to this because we're sure he won't be enjoying this recent talk about him. Or maybe he'll stay quiet and prove everyone wrong by knocking out his next opponent. Finally, Kamaru Usman is coming to the MCU. It's certainly a good time to be Kamaru Usman. The UFC welterweight champion has now joined the already star-studded cast of Black Panther Wakanda Forever and is set to make a cameo. But sadly, other details about his role are being kept tightly under wraps. His manager, Ali Abdelaziz, responded to this by tweeting that you should never listen to anybody who says you can't dream, and this young boy from Nigeria has proven just that. And it's hard to disagree with him. It doesn't get any bigger than the ever-expanding Marvel Cinematic Universe. The Black Panther franchise has always prided itself on having black talent both in front of and behind the camera, and it looks like this much-awaited sequel is going to build on that idea. The first one was a groundbreaking movie that actually brought cultural significance to a genre that had mostly featured white characters. Plus, it got a lot of critical acclaim and won for Best Costume Design, Best Original Score, and Best Production Design. This next one has been a long time in the making and has been continuously delayed because of the COVID-19 pandemic as well as lead actor Chadwick Boseman's untimely death. Kamaro will be joining actors such as Letitia Wright, Lupita Nyong'o, Winston Duke, and Martin Freeman. Considering how much Marvel likes keeping things close to the vest, we'll have to wait for November to find out the true extent of his role. Here's hoping he joins the universe as a recurring character. Fingers crossed. And that's a wrap for this video. Do you think Volkanovski can be a two-weight champion? Does he have what it takes to beat the likes of Charles Oliveira and Islam Makachev? Please let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Goodbye for now and see you in the next one.